If you love Excel drop-down lists, this one's for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create color-coded drop-downs that update the color of the cell depending on the value selected. This is definitely one of my favorites. Let's get started. For example, here we have a project tracker we are using to track a bunch of different projects. And we want to add color-coded dropdowns to the status column that highlights the row red if a project is not started, yellow if it's in progress, and green if it's complete. Thanks to conditional formatting, this is actually a lot easier than you'd think. First things first, we need to insert the dropdown menus in the status column by selecting the cells we want to add dropdowns to, navigating to the data tab, selecting data validation, and then choosing list under the validation criteria. Next, we just need to list the values we want to appear in the dropdown as the source. So I'm going to go ahead and type not started, in progress, and complete, separated by a comma, and then hit OK to insert the dropdowns. Now that we have our dropdowns, we need to add conditional formatting roles to our data table that highlights the row red, yellow, or green, depending on the status selected. Let's start by creating a role that highlights the row red when a project is not started. To create a new role, select the data, navigate back to the Home tab, open the conditional formatting dropdown, and select New Role. We are going to format the cells based on the value in column E, so we need to select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, and then write a formula that checks to see if the value in column E is equal to Not Started. So I'm going to select the formula box, Enter an equal sign, select the first dropdown, lock the column in place by pressing F4, enter another equal sign, and type not started in double quotes. Last but not least, we need to select the formatting for this role, so I'm going to hit the format button and select a red fill color. Hit OK to save the role, and now we can check and see if it's working by selecting not started from the first dropdown menu, and look at that. The entire first row is now highlighted red. Now we just need to repeat this for the other two dropdown values, so I'm going to go ahead and select the data and create another role by opening the conditional formatting dropdown again and selecting new role. Select use a formula to determine which cells to format, and this time we need to write a formula that checks to see if the value in column E is equal to in progress. Once you've selected the formula box, type an equal sign, select the first dropdown value, lock the column in place, Enter another equal sign, and this time type in progress in double quotes. We want to highlight projects in progress in yellow, so let's press the format button and select a yellow fill color. Hit OK to save the role, and now we need to repeat this one more time for the complete status. So I'm going to open the conditional formatting dropdown, select new role, choose use a formula to format, and enter the same formula, except this time check to see if the status is equal to complete by setting the first dropdown equal to complete in double quotes. Finally, set the formatting for this role to green by pressing the format button and selecting a green fill color. Hit OK to save the last role, and now every time we update the status for a project, the color of the row will automatically update depending on the status selected. Do you enjoy color-coded dropdowns as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.